Think deeply. What is fundamentally taboo in this culture and perhaps in other cultures as well? What uh, would, what information, in other words, would really let out, let the cat out of the bag and give away the show? The shaman is a person who is able to transcend the dimensional confines of cultural existence. People are busy all the time telling you who you are in many, many ways by the laws they impose on you, by the behavior ruts they set on you, by the things they tell you, by the fact that they always call you by your name, and by the fact that when you live among people you have to be in a state of ceaseless chatter. I'm just scared of being extremely uncomfortable and not being able to re like bring it back in. Where you're afraid of freaking out? Yeah. What in like everyone being like, Jessica, stop. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of? <laughs> Yeah. And then after much picture, what do you go? Then we go to Akito. Oh, for the ceremony? Yeah. How many days How many days you do the ritual? Seven days, wow. three ceremonies. Three ayahuasca. One thing I will say though, yesterday when I I don't know, I was feeling like anxious and like a little bit thinking about it too much. And um, I think it was yesterday or maybe it was like when we were leaving. I don't know, I can't keep track of time. But anyways, I was um, thinking about it and just like worrying and whatever. And I, I thought, okay, I'm going to ask for like my sign that I ask for when I want to feel safe or when I know that everything's going to be okay. And then it's just been popping up everywhere. It's so crazy that when I do that, it happens every time. Every single time it happens. What is this sign? It's a butterfly. Because the fact of the matter is, nobody knows what's going on. Nobody knows. Nobody has the faintest idea. The best guesses are lies. You may be sure of it. And so to pretend that one human being will lead another out of the dark night of ignorance and into the shining light of truth is ludicrous, absolutely grotesque, a product of this empowering of the human image that has gone on through several thousand years of dominator culture. If you want a teacher Try a waterfall, or a mushroom, or a mountain wilderness, or a storm-pounded seashore. This is where the action is. It's not back in the hive. It's not in the ant. Everyone was telling me not to have expectations, but that's super hard. So I, of course, had all these ideas in my head of what it was going to be like. It's like this, um, what feels like an alternate reality, but at the same time I think that it's, it's just always there. The visuals were extremely intense. It's almost like you're in like a vortex and you're like going through something. 
and all the while you have uh, visions or I had visions of just different people in my life um, different experiences I had gone through um, feeling emotion and also seeing emotion simultaneously um, sometimes those emotions were joy sometimes they were fear love um, love was a huge, huge, huge thing that I felt. Um, just an infinite amount of love. And it wasn't directed at any one thing or person. It was just the feeling of love. And it just was like bubbling up inside of me and I felt like it could explode at any moment. Why did you decide to do that? Um, because I wanted to heal. I want to heal. And I want to move past the um, barriers and certain things that I think are holding me back in my life. And to have a greater understanding of myself, and the universe, consciousness, spirit, connection, oneness, and that was definitely achieved. So, tell me about your first experience. My first? No, tell me about your latest experience. <laughs> okay. Um, it was really rough. It was one of the hardest things that I've ever done. Um, like, polar opposite from my first experience. The whole time I was just struggling through it. I was suffering. I was experiencing so much darkness, so much pain. And I can't even really pinpoint a lot of diff a lot of the images that were coming through that made it difficult. It was just the culmination of the experience that was hard and I was just this feeling of not being able to break through and come into positivity and love and light it took over me and looking back now reflecting now I think it's because I wasn't trusting the medicine enough. I mean, in the moment, I thought I was, and I thought I was um, surrendering to it and all of that stuff, but looking back now, I don't think I was. And I think that's where the lesson was, and ayahuasca was, you know, wasn't letting me come out until I learned that lesson. And unfortunately, in during the trip, it, the lesson wasn't learned, it came after. And I had a lot of times where I just thought it was never going to end and I thought that this was my new reality and um, that scared the, de the crap out of me. Like I just, I couldn't, I couldn't fathom being in this place forever. What was it like? At one point it felt like I was dying. And I don't just mean like, I oh, I felt like I was going to die. I mean, really thought I was going to cross over 
thought my spirit was going to leave my body. Um, and then it kind of snowballed from there. I thought, maybe, maybe people die here. <laughs> maybe, maybe people die here. And then I was trying to come to grips with dying. I was trying to come to get to a point of being at peace with dying and not being afraid to die. But it was close. But I thought the closer I get to coming to peace with it, the closer I was to actually dying. And I just didn't want to die. I didn't want to. So I resisted it. And I mean, really at one point, it felt like I was um, like a cancer patient or someone on their deathbed. And I was given permission and and someone was saying, it's okay, you can go, it's okay. And then I started to think about, you know, my family and just think about like, what if I left them? I don't want to leave them. And I just kept resisting, resisting, and I didn't let myself die, really. But this, then I... What you're describing sounds like horrible. Like, why would anybody want to come here and do that? Because I feel good now. I feel good now. I got through it. I ultimately did get through it, and I didn't die. <laughs> and I, I faced, you know, that fear that was deep inside of me, the fear of dying, which a lot of people have a fear of death. And even though in that moment during the trip, when I, when I was going through that, even though in that, that moment I didn't accept death, now I feel like I... And coming to terms with it and and understanding that it doesn't have to be this negative awful thing it can be really peaceful and it it's a part of the cycle i mean you're born you live you die and knowing that that's okay and feeling peace around death, that's why someone should do this experience. Um, that's why. Looking back on the experience now, I think I have a greater appreciation for being alive. And that's definitely a lesson that I learned from that whole death experience that one day I am going to die, and that's okay, but I'm not dead yet. <laughs> and I'm so alive right now. So I have just gratitude for that, for this moment that I am alive. Hey, God, do that trick where you, you look at me, so I need to be talking to someone. <laughs> So, um, well, yeah, I just want to know, like, um, overall, like, what was your experience of ayahuasca? Like, everybody seems, when they don't know what ayahuasca is, they seem afraid. And from, like, what you've described, like, it sounds like people should be afraid. Like, why, why would anybody want to do ayahuasca? Well, going into my third ceremony, I was scared to do it again. And I thought, you know, I don't want to go through what I went through in my second ceremony. And I don't want to struggle and I don't want to feel pain. And, you know, I just really starting to psych myself out of going into that third ceremony. Then with help of Drew and Stacy, the facilitators of Dream Blade. Um, and I dug a little bit deeper and I, I found the courage and the strength to go ahead and do it. And then that alone was a test. And I faced that fear and I did it anyway. And the medicine she was gentle and she was kind with me and she rewarded me 
for facing that fear. And ultimately everything came together from the first ceremony, second, third, everything just came together. And I had to go through that, that bit of shit in order to come through on the other side where there was light and it was almost like a relief. And ayahuasca in general is just an amazing way to face your fears, um, address trauma that you've faced throughout your life, break through barriers, and really connect to yourself, and also connect to something bigger than yourself. Um, connect to the medicine. Um, you know, ayahuasca is a plant that grows in the jungle, and I felt super connected to nature. Um, and that's why people should consider for healing purposes. And just to shed some light and become more aware and just to understand what this whole thing is about, this whole journey of life is about these experiences, good, bad, you know, amazing, you know, and also those times that are really difficult, really hard. All of those compile and they make you who you are. Um, and you have to give them their moment of, of attention, you know? Um, especially the bad ones, because we try and just push those away and push those away because we don't want to deal with them because it's uncomfortable. But it's important to sit with that discomfort and ultimately you're going to shed that and you're going to make room for more positivity and more love. And right now, I just feel a sense of peace, contentment, um, affirmation of my path and um, clarity. I feel clear, connected, in tune. Um, ready, excited for the next step, whatever that might be. And I truly do mean whatever that might be. If it's something uncomfortable, it's something uncomfortable and I have to, I have to sit through it and that's okay. Um, but I know that great things are coming too, so, um, so yeah. If you're watching this and you feel called ayahuasca uh, don't ignore that you know or if you're curious about it you know do research ask questions um, you know talk to me if, if that's possible if you can get a hold of me and, and get in contact with me I would love to to encourage anyone who's interested in ayahuasca to um, to just learn more Anything else? I think that's good. <laughs>